Welcome to today's demo. Um, I have a request from one of my subscribers asking to redo um, if I'll be able to do an RDA, redundancy um, hand of analysis in the multivariant analysis. So, so then I decided why not share with everyone because I think it's a good question that we share at least with everyone on how to run an RDA. So what is an RDA? An RDA is a multivariate analysis like uh, PCA, like uh, CCA, like all the multivariate analysis. So with no delays, I would like to show you guys the way we need to do this. But firstly, you need to understand that the first thing that you're doing this, you need to make sure that you know how to display your data and I'll put, um, I'll put a um, link to the video way I'm demonstrating on how to arrange your data, on how to display your different sheet for environmental variables and the species and how to display what the condition uh, that we need, what are the conditions that we need for us to run the multivariate analysis. But the most important is to know exactly how to display. That's very important because the key uh, question is about displaying. Without that, if you don't master how to display, you won't be able to run the analysis. So that's my one um, uh, plea to you so that guys go to the description below and see the link if you'll be able to follow that and look at how to display your data before you run it. So the display will work for every kind of analysis that you'll be doing in, in Kanoko. So let's start. Since I've got my data in the Kanoko, the only thing I'm going to do is to, I need to reproduce the same graph as this one. So um, how to do it. So I can delete this or I can leave it. But how to do it? So in, if I need to redo, then I'm just gonna go to new. You click on the new. You have two options here, and this it's a table that you know gives you the type of analysis that you need to follow. So you're gonna click next. I'm only gonna change anything. So I'm gonna go next. The second thing is to be able to select what are the type of the analysis that you want. You want a species plus sample or do you want the environmental variable plus samples? So I'm gonna do two response. The first one will be on the species and the samples. So I'm gonna leave as it is as a default. So I'm gonna go next. Now here, that's where the problem comes. It depends now on what of kind of analysis that you're doing. You may choose unconstrained, which you won't be able to do the or RDA or the CCA. But if you choose constraint, then you'll be able to do the um, RDA. You need to understand and know exactly what are you running as analysis. In our case, we're running an RDA. So I'm gonna go with the constraint where I'm selecting species and the environmental variables. So I'm gonna go next, finish. This is the window that I've been given. As you can see, the first I had two, now it's the third analysis I'm running. At default, all the variables have been selected. So I'm gonna leave this there because if I want, I can select all of them. Um, it's like Control Shift for those who are using window and put them there. Then select only the one that I want. I may choose half of it. I may choose, let's say for example, up to yes and leave the site out so i can choose like this and run the analysis so it's up to if you want to choose half of the variable or depend on you so you may choose and go next now this is the window where we have the analysis that you need to run we have two options here only as you may see unconstrained was not selected that's why we do have constraint here now, since I didn't select the, uh, the unconstrained, I've got two options here for the 
RDA, which is the uh, redundancy analysis. So if I want to do this, I can just click as I just need, or I may move back to the CCA, which is the canonical correspondent analysis, which I'm not intend to do this. So my purpose of today demo is this in RDA. So I'm choosing RDA as the analysis that I would like to run. Since I'm trying to show you guys on how to run this analysis, I won't be able to I would not want to change, you know, to set up different uh, ideas because for you to set up all this, you need first to master the analysis that you are doing. Then you'll be able to do other different things for that we see how we can plot a best graph or how we can plot, you know, your species in a way that you want to. So I'm gonna go next. Yeah, these are the condition as well. If you want to change, you can, but in my, the purpose for the purpose of this demo, I don't want to change anything. I'm just gonna leave it as the folder there and finish the analysis. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go next, 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 finish. Boom. As you may see, the result of the analysis is here. Now, what to do next? Here is to try and understand how your data was displayed and composed. As you may see, the summary um, of the data analysis is about the case of the simple, about 45, the number of the species, 68, and explanatory variable. Remember, I've removed some of the uh, um, variables. So we do have non environmental left we had like 12 then I've, I, I removed some this is exactly as uh, the result from the CCA you may see the method or the technique that we did or follow was the RDA so it's about 27 percent for one axis and 8.5 for the second axis but this may change when I put back in the next video if I need to pull back those variables you see that it may have an effect on the uh, percentage of each ax. As you may see here, we do have the statistic uh, result where we have different axes. The eigenvalues, it is exactly like in the PCA and we do have the explanation variable or explain and pseudo canonical. So the pseudo canonical is about the false you know, correlation that could appear, which are very good, very high. So this is what is happening. Now, in this case, our purpose was to show the graph. How does the graph looks like? Then we go to the graph and look at the graph. So this is the graph. As you may see, these are the, the blue one are species and the red are the environmental variables. So this is how we can run an RDA. So now in case of where we need to see at only variables and the different um i mean the, the way the variables the environmental variable display without species you can go to the next one as you may see it's a very uh clear separation between the environmental variable and species and between site as well you may see these species grouped together in this uh quadrant and the other one as well but if you look at this, they're also grouping on their own. So it's a very good uh, um, cluster of the species and the environmental variables. So in this case, for example, we do have soil moisture and the air temperature that are very important to these species. Uh, on this quadrant and the species that we are seeing here, the only thing that you can see is just uh, the most important variables we potassium, phosphate, and soil pH. But if you look at the value, the strength to the nitrogen is quite low compared to the rest of the variables. So in the case where we have like, uh, for example, for this side, we do have uh, the carbon nitrogen uh, ratio and the soil temperature ratio. So, this is how the displays comes out and very good graph for publication for your 
for your chapter or whatever you're doing as an assignment. Hope that this has helped you guys who wrote to us asking if you could do the RDA. And please, if you have more questions on how to display, that's fine. We are there to assist for those who are having problems and for those who are already uh, mastering up the process. Good for you guys. But thank you very much and cheers.